around religion differently, who think that their faith ought to be the excuse for violence, ought to be a bomb of destruction. But the more I learned about my own tradition in Islam, the more that I studied other traditions, Catholicism, Judaism, Evangelical Christianity, Buddhism, secular humanism, the more that I saw the core of those traditions was service. The more that I viewed those traditions as not a bomb of destruction or a barrier of division, but as the raw materials of bridges of cooperation. And then the unbelievably simple idea crashed through my consciousness. Bridges don't fall from the sky, and they don't rise from the ground. People build bridges. So if I want to see a world that is defined by bridges between people from different religious communities, then the question I have to ask myself is, how good am I at building those bridges? Do I have the framework, knowledge base, and the skill set of this? The more I thought about that, the more I thought to myself, this is a remarkable legacy of people. It's a tradition that I want to be a part of. St. Francis of Assisi, in the year 1219, in the middle of the Fifth Crusade, travels from Italy across to the Middle East, when Catholics and Muslims are literally tearing each other's throats out. And he goes to see the Sultan Malik, the head of the Muslim forces. And they talk at the court of the Sultan, not about war, but about prayer about the beauty of their different religious traditions. Historians still say that the multiple times a day that Franciscans pray comes from St. Francis's observations of the court of the Sultan Malik as he watched the devoted Muslims there pray five times a day. St. Francis, 900 years ago, was an interfaith leader.